Alicia Keenan, a good way to protect yourself, a radon testing kit. All you have to do is follow these directions on the back, send it to a lab, and you'll get your results in just a couple days. This is a very good way to make sure you're protected, and it's especially important if you live in a county known for high radon levels. I was aware of radon itself, but I did not know that we had high levels here. Chuck Bachmeyer lives in Livingston County. He says he didn't know Livingston County had high levels of radon. This map from the county health department shows where the levels are high. Around 40% of homes have high radon levels. With an addition planned for Bachmeyer's home, he decided to get a radon test. Two of my boys will live down there. That, that'll be their bedrooms. So I want to make sure that they're not getting radon or anything like that while they're down there. We see a lot of levels that are higher commonly in Livingston and Washtenaw County areas. Home inspector Tyler Lemling says the main areas to be tested should be in the basement. Look for cracks and around sump pumps where radon can rise out of the ground into the home. Commonly, Michigan currently has about 25% of the homes tested have radon gas, levels greater than four picocuries per liter of air. Anything greater than four pico carries is harmful, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. If your self-test kit is high, you can call an expert to get a long-term test. If that also comes back high, you may want to consider a mitigation system in your home to fan out any radon. The gases are drawn to the outside through a fan unit that runs 24-7, 365 days a year. Now, you can get one of these tests for free if you live in Livingston or Macomb County. We have information on our website right now at WXYZ.com. Allie, really quickly, how often should people be testing for radon? Well, according to the expert that we spoke with, every six months, if you don't have a mitigation system, if you do have a mitigation system, you're going to want to go ahead and test that and make sure it's working about every year or so. And now is the perfect time to test January because all the doors are closed, so it's going to give you the most accurate reading. So important to keep your family safe. Thank you for that live update, Allie.